I built a chatbot that will easily bring in over $1 million of revenue this year. So let me explain. Many, many moons ago, a buddy of mine reached out on X, formerly known as Twitter. Cringe, I know. But the point is, he needed a chatbot built for his luxury watch business. So let me give you some context. The Watch King, crypto connoisseur, professional shit poster, and very good friend of mine, he's easily one of the best luxury timepiece dealers on Twitter. And as such, he gets a lot of inbound leads. And I mean, a lot. So many that he even gets rate limited in his DMs, meaning he can't send any more DMs because he sent too many. As such, it's really hard to keep up with demand, and getting rate limited kind of poses a problem when you're trying to intake as many leads as possible. Not to mention, this isn't his main business. VAs can get expensive, they can be a hassle to coordinate, and a VA isn't going to be much help if you're getting rate limited in the DMs anyways. So today we're going to be building a system that fixes that problem. And even better, you guys are going to watch me do it. Now before we hop into it, make sure you stick around because I've got a little bonus gift at the end for those of you who are watching this video all the way to the very end. So stay tuned. Now let's go ahead and hop into it. But before we start building the chatbot, we have to look at the potential issues that we have to solve. From a surface level, it seems like we can just build something that can be used on Twitter and Instagram. Problem solved. But that's not really the case. If he's already getting rate limited in the DMs on Twitter, a chatbot isn't going to help that issue. If anything, it might exacerbate it, meaning it's going to make it worse. Not to mention Twitter API with Elon's new changes, it could get pretty expensive very fast. Now we have Instagram. This is a potentiality because bots do work with Instagram business accounts, but considering it's such a new acquisition channel for him, he just now set it up, it's still something that's kind of up in the air. Not to mention that with Instagram bots, you can't send the messages first. People have to come to you. But of course, since it's a newer channel for him, it means not as much traffic and less potential of breaking the bot. So we could make something happen there, but to solve the Twitter issue, you, I had a talk with him, and he's looking for something that's more centralized anyways, you know, a landing page, which he doesn't have yet. It's completely fine, because we're going to be building it into the landing page for him. So to solve that issue, I'll be building him a centralized landing page, and we'll be embedding the chatbot into it as well. At the very least, it'll help separate some of that traffic, so maybe he's not getting rate limited on Twitter, and he can keep it going on Instagram, and he won't have to worry about all of these leads and having to answer DMs constantly. Now, we're going to be building this through BotPress, because that's just going to be the easiest way to do this, and it's going to be the best way for you guys to follow along. Now, here's how the process is going to look. First and foremost, the bot will ask the user questions and gather information on them and qualify them as a lead. Second, a Zapier webhook we've added will export that information to his CRM, which in this case is just a spreadsheet because he doesn't have one. <laughs> Third, and finally, he'll receive a text message on his cell phone, letting him know that a new lead has been added to the sheet or the CRM, just so he's updated with all the progress. Okay, let's go over the bot. Now, first things first, once you've hopped into BotPress, you've created your bot, you're gonna see a screen like this. It's gonna be pretty bare. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a standard node. So right click and click on standard node. We're gonna double click here and rename this one greeting. The goal of this is just to, you know, open conversation with the bot. So we're gonna go ahead and drag this connect them. So essentially, once the conversation starts, it'll send them to this node right here. You're going to click on add card. Let's go ahead and add a text card. We're going to do something like this. We're going to do something like greetings. My name is Alfred. I'm your AI timepiece concierge, something like that. It can be whatever you want though. And then we're going to add another card on top of that. And that one is going to be a single choice card. So essentially what this is going to do is allow people to input information and the bot will take them to a different step depending on what they choose. So we're going to go ahead and drag the single choice there. And it's going to be a question with watches. It's either they're buying, they're selling, or they're trading. So there's going to be three different options here, buying, selling, and trading. I'm going to say, what would you like me to assist you with today? Again, guys, we're going to be moving a little bit quick, but that's perfectly fine. In terms of the variable, we're going to select it and we're just going to do buy, sell, trade. I've already created this one, but you can type it yourself. You can just say buy, sell, trade. I'll go ahead and store that there. Click on advanced configuration and we're going to click on the choice option. This will basically allow them to choose which path they want to take. So we're going to add the first one, buying buying a timepiece. We're going to add another one. Click this little plus here. We're going to say selling a timepiece. And then we're going to click this little plus again. And we're going to say trading a timepiece. Super easy, super simple, just like that. So we have buying, selling and trading. Let's go ahead and start with buying. But first, let's try out our greeting. I'm not sure why I deleted it here. 
I'm gonna say greetings. All right, let's make sure that actually saves there this time. Okay, <laughs> it's saved. Now, if you go over here to this little corner, you can click on new conversation. This will allow you to test the bot in the app. So we're gonna say, hi, it's gonna say greetings. I'm Alfred, your AI timepiece concierge. What would you like me to assist you with today? And it says buying, selling or trading. I have a little typo there, but that's not a big deal. So we're gonna say buying a timepiece and it's going to end because there's nowhere else for them to go. That's what we're going to go ahead and add. So you're gonna drag this right over here to some empty space. And we're gonna click on standard node. Now this one is going to be buying. Now a lot of people who come to him to buy a watch, they already know what they want. So we're gonna go ahead and collect some information. First, I'm gonna add some text. I'm gonna say something like, awesome. I would love to help you out with that. And guys, again, this is gonna be a really simple bot. When you're working with bigger companies, you can add things over here on this knowledge base, like their FAQs. If you're working with like e-commerce company, you can add their stock, you know, connected to other programs. This is going to be important because if someone's like, do you have any Rolex Daytona? They're like, and then they throw in the reference number, you're gonna want it to be able to pick that from the knowledge base. And if you wanna build a more dynamic bot, you have to build out your knowledge base. But for the sake of this, we're gonna keep it super, super simple. So awesome, love to help you out with that. And then let's go ahead and add another capture information. This time, instead of single choice, we're gonna do raw input. There's a reason for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in raw input. And we're gonna say something like, what's the reference number of the watch you're looking for? We're gonna go ahead and do that. Reference is what we're gonna call it. So now it's gonna store it in this result. Reference, this is gonna be very important later on because we want it to export this information according to the way it's stored. So it's asking them for the reference number. And then we're gonna add another one. I'm gonna do something like awesome. And what's your current budget? And I'm gonna go ahead and select it. We'll just make this one budget right here. Again, guys, super simple. I'm gonna say final question, and then we're gonna ask them how soon they wanna get it. Actually, we'll do new and pre-owned, and then we'll ask them how soon they, they wanna get it. Are you looking for something new or pre-owned? Now this, again, we're gonna change this actually from a raw input to a single choice, and we're gonna say new or owned. I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and then go to the advanced configuration again, and we're gonna click on choice. Now we're gonna add the choices. We're gonna say new, and then we're going to add another one, and we're gonna say pre owned. We don't need this to lead us to like a whole new step. We don't really need that. We don't need this to bring it to a new node. We're not doing anything super crazy there. So what we're going to do to disable that is we're going to click right here. I'm going to click on this and we're going to click it for the second one too. And essentially what that does is it allows them to make the choice and it captures the information, but it doesn't send them to a whole new node based on what they choose. So new or owned. And then finally, we're going to add one more. We're actually going to do, uh, da, 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 going to delete that. And what we're going to add is another single choice. And we're going to add, there goes my cat. <laughs> we're going to say final question. How soon are you looking to get timepiece? And and we'll add this, say how soon, and then we'll add two options. So we'll add a, I need ASAP, like I need it now, or I'm willing to wait. And then we'll have, I'm willing to wait. And of course, again, guys, you can make this like, you can fix up the copy and make this look a little bit better in terms of the text, but this is just for the sake of, you know, <laughs> making things easy. So again, we're gonna disable these so they can just make the selections. And finally, to finish off this node right here, we're going to add one more card and then this one is going to be an expression card. Now, this one is super simple. Basically, this is what's automatically gonna take them to the new node. So in this condition, you're just gonna add true. And then now it's going to take them to the next one. So we're gonna add standard, and this one's going to be the info collect. So we're gonna collect their name, email address, phone number, and their social media handle, because this is gonna be kind of important. We're gonna say something like, I'm gonna add another card, and it's going to be, let's see if they have a name card. I'm probably missing it, but we're gonna add, go ahead and throw in raw input here. We're gonna say, Great, I'll check with the team. In the meantime, can I get a name for the inquiry? I'm gonna say that, and we're gonna say name, and then let me make sure it stores it as a name here. Person name, there we go. So that's the type of value it's going to extract. We're gonna do this again. So this will store it as a, a person name, basically. And then we're going to add another card. This is going to be an email address card. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there. What's a good email to reach you at? And then this this one will be email, super simple. And then we're just gonna keep adding these cards, you guys. We're gonna say phone number, and then we're gonna go with social media. Awesome, and a good phone number. And we're gonna say phone for the data type. 
that's good. And then finally, um, we're gonna add one more. It's gonna be a raw input. Um, do you have any additional notes? And your social handle, customizations, etc. Beautiful, that looks good. And I'll say additional notes and we'll save that. Finally, to finish off the buying tab, what we're going to do is we're gonna do something like, I've got all the information I need, right? I've got all of the information I need will be in touch soon. Now, you might have noticed, but I actually missed something. And there's a reason because I wanted to go ahead and revisit it. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and finish this note. So I'm gonna add another card. Again, it's gonna be an expression card and this is going to take them to the end. Throw in this expression card, go ahead and throw that over here and click end. So there we go. It's automatically going to end the conversation with them. Super easy, super simple. Go ahead and click on the expression card and type true, just so it's always sending them to the end. Now let's go ahead and test out the bot, see how it's going so far. So we're gonna say hi, we're gonna say buying a timepiece, and then reference number, let's just say Rolex, and then the current budget, 40,000, and it's gonna collect all of this information. Now we're gonna say we're looking for it new, cool. And I'm just gonna say I need it now. It's gonna collect our name, and then it's gonna collect our email, blah, 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 whatever the email is boom and then phone number finally no additional notes beautiful so now it's gonna end it it's gonna send that last message but how do we actually get this information to zapier to add it to the the spreadsheet obviously now what we're going to do is go ahead and add a card and it's going to be this execute code card we're gonna drag it in we're gonna throw it right here under the additional notes if you don't know how to use code that's perfectly fine you can copy the code that I'm using in this video I'm just gonna copy it over from the other bot actually click on this the code looks like this now you'll notice mine's a little bit different just because it's a little more fleshed out this is just like for beginners you know building your first bot but we're gonna copy that code bring it over go ahead and paste it in here now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to change these workflow values so you can see up here that we have our zapier webhook and i'm going to show you guys how this works in just a second just so you know that it does but we're going to say name workflow dot name it's going to be the second one the one with two e's just because i accidentally messed it up email will be workflow dot email phone will be workflow dot phone and then this one workflow dot will be the reference and I'll say reference number beautiful the new or owned will be workflow dot new or owned now this one will be workflow dot this one will be workflow dot how soon and then we have workflow dot additional notes so essentially this code will basically allow us to export it to Zapier we have our buying node we have the execute code now I'm not going to take you guys through the, the Zapier just because that would be way too much time and we don't have enough time for this right now but I will show you what it looks like you have your catch web webhook right here and then you have create a spreadsheet row and finally you have the send SMS by Zapier Zapier as well. Super easy, super simple. I'm going to show you guys like my bot, how it works at, in the end. Basically, all you would need to do is in this code, which you can, you know, just copy mine in this little webhook post right here. You just throw in your Zapier webhook that they give you. Super easy. You don't need the Zapier integration on bot press or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and speed run this. We're going to get the same thing done with the selling. Now the selling is going to be a bit different. I'm going to go ahead and copy this node right here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So the selling is going to be different in the way that Obviously, when someone is selling something, we're going to need to know the condition. So I'm going to change these up. I'm going to say, what's the reference number of the watch you're selling? Boom. And we're going to drag this over here from selling the timepiece to that node right there. How much? I'm going to say, how much are you looking to get? How much are you looking to sell it for? And I'm going to change this result to selling price. So it's going to store it in the selling price node. Now I'm going to say, cool. What's the condition? And then let's see. I'm going to say condition that is going to be now this one it's a single choice but what we're going to do is go ahead and change this to a raw input as well just so they can type out the condition we'll get rid of these choices doesn't really matter we're just going to d uh actually we're just going to delete this one entirely we're going to delete the condition and we're going to delete the house soon as well we're going to add those cards ourselves move over here throw in the raw input great what's the current condition of the watch any scuffs cracks and then the result we'll just store that in condition 
beautiful. That looks beautiful. Finally, the last thing we're gonna ask is if they have the case in the original paperwork, because this is very important with watches. You need to have the paperwork and the original case, especially if you're looking to get like asking price out of it. This is what proves authenticity, right? So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in there. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna do a single choice node just so they can just select yes or no. Da -da -da -da. Gonna go ahead and select in single choice. I'm gonna say, cool, last question. Do you have the original case and paperwork? And then they're gonna select something. I'm gonna say case and paperwork for the result variable, advanced configuration, make this a choice. Yes, I do. I'm gonna disable this as well. We don't need to take them to a new node. Keeping things as simple as possible, guys, is the best way to do it. I'm gonna say, no, I don't. Besides, our guy here is going to be going through these all the time anyways to see if they're people he actually wants to work with. Of course, again, you can add complexity to these types of things. Like it doesn't have to be this simple, but if this is your first bot, this is definitely a good place to start. Now we're going to take them to the collection node. Actually, I'm gonna delete this one. Just, we're just gonna copy and paste it. Copy this one, move this bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. Super easy, super simple. And I'm gonna say, sell info collect. Now we're just gonna collect them or connect them right here. Boom. So got all the information I need, we'll be in touch soon. You got the name, email, phone, additional notes, etc. You've got asking for all the case and paperwork. And now this is just going to lead to the end. We have our code. You don't need to worry about the code as well. If you want, you can create a separate zap because you might want to, you know, add it to a different spreadsheet or something like that. That's perfectly fine. But just for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it simple. And honestly, the trading is going to be the exact same thing. So it's pretty much going to be the same thing as the selling. So we're going to copy the selling and we're going to make it the trading as well, except we're going to add something. So I'm gonna say trading, I'm gonna drag this, connect to them, and I'm gonna say, you got the reference number, and then let's just make this awesome. What piece, time piece, were you looking to trade for? And then we're gonna go ahead and trade for all of that. Just because they're not selling it, we obviously want to see what they wanna trade it for. Grab our information collection, paste that node, connect them beautifully, trade info collect, super easy there. And then finally, we drag this one to the end. Now, that in a nutshell is your bot that is basically done. Now, I'm gonna show you guys mine because it's a little more complex and you guys can really add a whole lot depending on what you wanna do. Let me go ahead and show you how this works first. You say hi, and you can say buying a timepiece, selling a timepiece, trading a timepiece. You do that, you know, what's the reference number? You put in all of your information and we'll export this via Zapier and add it to a spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my spreadsheet up. I'm gonna show you guys how this works with mine. You're gonna need your own custom webhooks again, but it's, it's not really that big of a deal. So we're going to go ahead and go to drive Let me add my spreadsheet. Here we go. So we have our spreadsheet right here. I'm going to show you guys how this works via my bot real fast. Now you'll see that mine is a lot more complex and there's reasons for this. As you can see right here, I have these intent cards. So sometimes your clients, they're not going to want buttons that people can click. So what you can do is add these intent cards. So when someone says, I want to buy a watch or like, I want to sell, I want to trade a watch or whatever, it takes them to these cards instead. Because again, not every website is going to have buttons. If someone's, you know, if they, if they're using Twilio or something with SMS, people can't just like click buttons. So it's important that you are adaptable. That's what you can use these intent cards for. But I'm going to show you guys how my bot works real quick. So I'm going to click this right here and it's going to take me to the bot. Now I'm gonna say hi. I'm just gonna do it the same way that we do with ours. Super simple, it's gonna take a second to respond, which is good because that's what you want. If you're trying to keep it sneaky and it's responding instantly, then it's pretty obvious that it's a bot. So that's not always what you want. So as I'm Alfred, your personal AI timepiece concierge. Now tell me, are you interested in buying, selling, or trading a timepiece? I'm gonna say buying for the sake of this video. Now I'm going to say I know exactly what I want. Now you'll see here that I added another option. Like I'm just shopping around. That is something else that I added that you guys can add as well. So you'll notice that I have two buys. So there's, I know exactly what I want and I'm not sure I'm shopping around. So I have two separate nodes. There's buy, watch, no, and then there's buy, watch, don't know. So that is, this will add like ask them information, like what their budget is, what kind of brand they like, if there's any precious metals that they want, colors, band sizes, 
prices, et cetera, et cetera. And then it'll collect their information and it's super, super easy. So let me go ahead and move back over here. I'm going to say, I know exactly what I want. I'm gonna ask some questions. I'm gonna say brand new reference. I'm gonna say Rolex Yacht Master 23. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in some random, some random reference code there. I don't even think that's a reference code, but let's just pretend that it is. I'm gonna say, I'm looking for it brand new. It's gonna be like, cool. And then it's gonna collect our information. I need it now. All right, so my camera stopped recording and I tried to get it, but it's not a big deal. Now it's gonna ask us for our email address. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in like a random email, gmail.com, just for the sake of this video, not dropping my email. It's in my YouTube description anyways. Now it's gonna ask if there's any, you know, customizations that we want. It could be, you know, like our Twitter handle. I'm just gonna say my Twitter is or the whiz. You guys should follow me, boom. Now it says that it has everything we need. It's gonna discuss buying options. And then we're going to go ahead and head over to lead sheet. And as you'll see right there, it's added directly to the lead sheet. And you'll see the BYR, which is the brand year and reference. Rolex Yachtmaster, additional notes, willing to wait, newer pre-owned. Now you'll see these other ones as well, like the budget, metals, colors, brand, etc. That's for if they don't know. If they do know and these aren't filled out, that's perfectly fine. Again, you can connect this to a CRM, but for now we're just using a spreadsheet for the sake of this example. But that's not all, because if I pull out my phone, you'll see this as well. It says, this is Alfred, your personal timepiece concierge, just sending you a text to let you know a new lead's been added to your spreadsheet. They're interested in buying. Right there. So super easy, super simple. Again, these are the zaps. Now, you're gonna need to probably go through and fix some things and flesh it out a little bit. But guys, keep in mind that this was, I don't know, like 20 minutes? 20 minutes you can get a bot like this going. Of course, again, you have to make sure that like it actually it actually functions properly and you wanna go through and make sure that it actually works. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. But there you guys have it. The lead is added to the sheet and he is texted with the updated lead and what they're looking to do. He can now go into this lead sheet on a daily basis and pick the leads that he wants to contact and the leads that he's most interested in in a super easy and organized manner. Again, this can be integrated with like a CRM software, but we're just working with the spreadsheet for now, so. But now he can focus on bigger deals and putting more effort into his content for more traffic. And now he has a system that can actually handle that traffic as well. So with that being said, if you're a business owner and you're looking for a customized solution, go ahead and shoot me a DM. I'd be more than happy to help you. Twitter is Zorro the Wiz. If you aren't satisfied and ecstatic with the work, we'll give you all of your money back. 100% guaranteed. You don't pay if you're not satisfied. So no catch, just quality work. But that will be the end of the video for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to go ahead and join my newsletter down in the description below to stay updated with all things AI. I drop stuff like this pretty much all the time. And also be sure to join our Discord community. We're absolutely killing it in there. People are landing crazy deals. And if you're starting an AI agency in any capacity, I definitely recommend you hop in, find some other people who are doing the same thing and make some friends, touch some grass. If you found this useful or insightful, be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upload. And without further ado, I will see you guys later.